Hey guys, it's Kate. Today's video is going to be a Shop Disney haul. And I normally don't purchase on Shop Disney only because I live 15 minutes from property and I find that I can purchase anything that I have my eye on in store. However, I have noticed within the past year or so, and I'm sure you guys have seen the last Shop Disney haul, which I think was like for Christmas stuff, I wanna say, or maybe um, earlier this year. Anyway, I do notice that Shop Disney does get the merchandise first before I see it start to hit stores. So even as somebody who is a local, I definitely encourage you to check Shop Disney and check the stores both in the parks and the resorts because you'll see merchandise hit at different times. Sometimes they'll be on sale or at the outlet when they're not in the park. So kind of just keeping, whoa, the sun went behind a cloud, <laughs> it got really dark. <laughs> um, your finger on the pulse of the merchandise. But I did have this huge box shipped to me. And when I say huge, I mean like, I'm gonna try, I don't think this side has my aim on it, to get it all in frame there. Um, but they were doing their, ooh, I shut the camera, um, semi-annual sale. So I got some things on pretty great discount and then some things that I've just been having my eye on in general. So I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna jump in because Lord knows we're gonna be here a while. So this did come in two boxes. I did just go ahead and condense it to the one box for the video, but that's all that I've looked at it. I haven't taken them out of the plastic wrap or anything otherwise. I just wanted to condense it so I wasn't fil filtering through two boxes. Um, so I do have the two slips. This was for the one that came on its own, and then these two are for the second box. The first thing that I got, and I'm gonna have to like speed through me opening up these plastic bags. To... <laughs> so the first thing that I got is this cardigan. This blew up on Instagram. All the Disney Insta girlies were wearing it, and I absolutely loved it. It's very preppy, and as a teacher, I find that that can kind of be my style sometimes. I still, even at 31, am feeling like I couldn't pinpoint my style exactly. I know I really like colorful things. I love color. I love unique pieces, so things with fun straps and details and textures. Um, but I also love a good, like, popular viral item. I understand why this is popular. I get why the girlies on Insta were wearing this. It's super cute. Um, so it's kind of hard to pinpoint my own style, but I'm just, even at 31, trying to go with the flow. Absolutely loved this. It's quite thick, actually thicker than I anticipated it was going to be for a cardigan, which really is just going to be perfect for our Florida winters. This is really probably all I'll need. And as you can see when I held it up, it does have Minnie Mouse's signature embroidered on the right, and then Minnie herself on the left, and then the rest of it is just totally plain purple. And this, let's see if I can, um, the cardigan was $37.98 is what I ended up paying for it. I think it was probably $50 or $60 originally, so I didn't think that that was too horrible. Next up is this piece from the Disney 100 Eras collection. I have been eating up the Eras releases. I purchased the sweat set, the little crop sweatshirt and shorts from the first release that was the Walt Disney Studios from the 20s. Um, didn't see anything particularly that I loved in the 30s, um, but I believe this is like the 40s, the 50s. I absolutely love this. It says Walt Disney's wonderful, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful world of color. And so it just makes me think of World of Color at California Adventure. It is gray with really fun polka dot detailing. The polka dots are flat, so those are ironed on, but the wording is embroidered. So it's really nice quality. Again, a nice weight to it, not thick, as thick as the cardigan, but definitely thick enough to keep you warm. Here is the Disney 100 tag. I absolutely love the 100 merch. And that guy was um, $59.99. That one was full price. 
we have sun again. <laughs> um, so these are the matching shorts that I purchased with it. It does show on the website the model wearing the two together. I do think that they are cute together, but what's nice about a cohort is that you can also separate the pieces and wear them individually. And there goes the sun again. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. Um, but these are what the shorts look like. They are a really nice mauve pink with that same polka dotting. And you can see here embroidered the same messaging, Walt Disney's wonderful world of color with tink. Tink and the polka dots are that iron-on, but the wording, just like the crew neck, is embroidered. So really, really sweet. And that one was $39.99. Now I'm really excited about these pieces. We've actually already seen The Little Mermaid in theaters. I was hoping that I would get this in enough time to wear it to the showing, but I loved the movie and I am gonna have no problem still wearing these even though I'm not gonna wear it to the theater. Um, unpopular opinion, maybe, and maybe a spoiler, but I feel like it's been out long enough. Really the only part I didn't love in the movie was Aquafina's scuttle. She has a new to the live action um, original song called The Scuttlebutt and I thought it was totally unnecessary. It kind of took me out of the movie. I loved the addition of Eric's song and Ariel's second song when she gets into the village and no longer has her voice so you're hearing her as the stream of conscious, what she's thinking since she cannot speak. I loved both of those and I definitely thought it furthered the story. But hers, because it's already established in Kiss the Girl that Scuttle can't sing and that's part of the comedy of it. Um, so then for her to have her own rap, it just, it didn't, that is the, if they had taken that out of the movie, saved ourselves that three minutes, it would have gotten a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, but absolutely love this shirt. I picked this up for Abel. You can see it does have flounder, Sebastian, and Scuttle. And Sebastian was the star of the show. Let's be real. I mean, of course, Halle Bailey was phenomenal. Jonah Bauer, Bauer King? Prince Eric was phenomenal. Javier Bardem as King Triton, phenomenal. But David Diggs is Sebastian. And I loved the almost kind of like Jamaican, Barbados, island, tropical feel they put onto it. It was fantastic. So absolutely loved that, had to have it. And then for me, I got the matching dress. So this dress I absolutely love has this huge bow right at the bust. It does have straps. It is not a strapless dress, but absolutely love this bow. And then it's the same print where you have all of the sea kelp and coral and flowers and Ursula's shell locket that Ariel's voice is kept in. Um, and it's most of her treasures. So you've got the, the thingamabob, which is the fork, a, um, not a telescope, cause it's like a, is that a, it's not a monocle. What is that when it's like a personal size telescope, not the large ones that you see to look up at planets and stuff, but a smaller personal one. What's that called? <laughs> um, there's that. <laughs> it's just really, really detailed. Absolutely love the color, the style of the dress. I'm very excited to wear that for summer. And I did not tell you that Abel's shirt, the men's shirt, was $59.99. And then the dress was 128 because it is the dress shop. So their dresses are generally pretty pricey. Before I show you the next thing, I wanted to keep on the Little Mermaid train. I knew I also got this. <gasps> I just love that the tie of this is an actual ribbon tie. I think that is stunning. So you can see the ribbon it matches the dress. And then this is what the necklace looks like. So pretty, um, and that goes perfectly with my dress. And that one was, sorry, I'm a little bit flipping between three pieces of paper, <laughs> um, $39.99. Wow, is that right? It's a pricey little necklace. I actually would not have purchased it had I known it was $40 for costume jewelry. 
I thought this was like 20. Well, that's pretty and I'm not gonna send it back, but I thought that that was like 20 bucks, oops. Now moving into some of the semi-annual sale pieces. I purchased this and I'm sure I showed it in a haul. Um, the crew neck sweatshirt and matching pants in this print. And I just really loved this whole collection, but because I already had that set, I didn't or couldn't justify purchasing the t-shirt dress as well. But when I saw that it was part of the sale, I went ahead and snagged it. So this is what the print looks like. I just love it. And I think it could be totally dressed down with some cute sneaks or dressed up with like a blazer on top, some really nice Mary Janes or really fun, thick platform um, heels. I thought that would be so cute. And that was on sale for $18.73. I feel like these dresses were, I'm sure, I'm bummed that they don't have the prices on them, but I'm sure they were 40 to 50. So then I got it for 18. I was stoked. So in that same vein, I also got the Mickey one. Now this one I'm not so sure about as far as this one might be a little more out of my comfort zone but again I thought with some really cute sneaks maybe some cowboy boots um hair up super casual like in a claw clip the back is just plain it kind of looks like a beach towel <laughs> um but it's really nice it's a kind of a thicker cotton and I thought for days around the house um casual days at the park this would just be really fun it's definitely a statement piece on its own so I was super excited to at least try it, especially because it was in the sale. And so I got that one for $18.73, same price as the Minnie Mouse one. So for 18 bucks, even if I wear it a couple of times and end up not feeling like it's totally my style, I didn't spend $128 on it like I did for the Little Mermaid dress, which I know is my style. So just trying to be very conscious of what I am purchasing and bringing into my closet and making those smart choices and things that are a little more like fast fashion or fashion that's outside of my comfort zone, as I said, not spending $128 on that, waiting till it hits the sale, I feel like is the smart move. Let's talk about this packaging firstly. Um, so this is how this one came packaged. This is how this one came packaged, which makes me think that this was an online return because why would you package this one like this when the exact same dress in a different print is like this? Do you know what I'm saying, Shop Disney? Anyway, absolutely love this dress. If you guys saw the video of Mom and I shopping at Disney Springs, specifically Marketplace Co-op, where they have this collection, or that's where I first saw it. This is the Outdoor Voices collab with Disney. I did try on the Minnie Mouse one and loved it. I've really been loving the athletic dresses um, because Abel and I run and we participate in local races and I've found that biker shorts and leggings are generally the most comfortable for me for running but I purchased an athletic dress at Marshalls and loved it. Got an old navy one, very cute but not as functional and I have already tried these on so I know that they're cute. I actually need to run in it to see if it's functional. Um, but this is the goofy one. I actually really love this print. I think it might be a little bold for some people, but I'm really excited about it. I love the orange color. I love goofy. And these were expensive. These were, I think, like one, 118. So those are a little pricey. And let me quickly show you. This is the Minnie Mouse one. I'm so sorry the light is going in and out. I obviously film during the day with natural light, so you guys are getting the real deal. And my battery is flashing, so let me go ahead and switch that out real quick. And we're back. <laughs> um, I only have two more things, so my battery could not hold on. Um, we'll start with this one. So this, if you could probably guess by the size and shape, is a tumbler. And I'm going to kick myself if I already have this one. 
fun, but it was part of the sale and I couldn't say no to the price. You guys know if you are a Starbucks tumbler collector that the Disney ones especially are like stupid priced, like 75, 50 to $75 depending on the limited edition-ness of it. Um, but this one was, oh my gosh, it's not even on my list. Oh, here we go. $14.98. $14.98. And so I hope I don't have it <laughs> because generally if I see one that I love this much, I just buy it because I'm not sure. Um, and I've put away all my Christmas stuff and it's up really high in like lowered shelving in our garage. So I can't just go look at my Christmas stuff without having to get a ladder and take everything down. So I hope I don't have this, but if I do, somebody might be getting this for Christmas next year and I only paid $14.98. Is that what I said? What did I say? $14.98 instead of like the 50 or 60 or 70 or whatever stupid price these normally are, which you know I normally don't mind spending because I do love these. They're really cute. I mean, you can see the Mickey and there's the Starbucks siren. Um, but I'm hoping I don't have this. So I'm actually gonna keep it in its box. And then if I do, if I do already have it, it's gonna be a really nice gift for somebody next year because it's not dated and it's a tumbler. It's not like food that's gonna expire. So if come to find when I take my Christmas stuff down, I do already have this in my collection. I already have a gift for somebody for next year. So go me for it being June and getting a start on my Christmas shopping. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you guys was this lounge fly. I have been eyeing this little baby. This is part of the summer collection from lounge fly. And this I believe was also part of the sale. Yeah, it was $44.98. And again, I think this was in like the $70 range. So let me take this out of the packaging. Okay, I was trying to see the price and no dice on the price. Um, but here she is. She's really little. Traditional lounge flies are maybe yay tall, but not as wide. Probably like this narrow. And like I said, maybe about yay tall. So it's a definite different shape, which is what drew me to it also because I do have so many lounge flies. Again, trying to be conscious of what I'm adding to my collection. So I loved the different style of this. I loved the bright neon colors. I love that it's really idealized and designed for summer. You can see Jessie's playing like croquet. She's got a big hammer and she's trying to hit the three little alien men on the Pixar ball. Rex in that scuba mask is my absolute favorite. Bo is lounging with her sheep under an umbrella, like one of those little paper umbrellas that you put in your drinks. You've got Forky, who I could take or leave. Woody is stick em up cowboy with the ketchup and mustard. Buzz is flying in a hamburger. Ducky and Bunny have their spatula and s'more like picker fork ruddy. Um, there, it's just a really sweet pattern. I'm just trying to see if I can find you a better Rex. Yeah, there you go, because he's cut off on the top. Look at him. With his little scuba mask, I really just can't. Um, the inside has a nice closure to keep it kind of tight or you can just have it fully open this is the print and what I also really like about this is the additional little Pixar ball coin pouch little zipper and you can just take that off it's on a little lobster claw you can take that off if you don't like it and then put because there's a jump ring there a different keychain if you'd rather or just leave it plain. Um, but I love this bag. I'm gonna, I have everything in a rainbow pride fanny from Target right now since it is June. It's pride month, but I'm probably gonna move into this honestly. A um, little bit peeved with Target as of now, and this might be like an unpopular opinion as well, and maybe I need to keep my opinions to myself. But um, there was some controversy going around about Target releasing Pride merchandise. And then because some people 
did not specifically like some of the items that they were selling. The items in question being specific tucking underwear. People were throwing the items on the floor, yelling at Target employees to the point that Target felt as though their employees were not in a safe environment. So rather than, in my opinion, standing by their products, standing by what they're selling, standing by their team members and removing those customers, they're just removing the products from stores. So I'm a little bummed out because I'm sure if you guys have watched any of my videos for any amount of time, Target is my jam. I love Target. I go there at least once a week, not only for my grocery needs, but the dollar spot area. And generally speaking, I felt like they're a pretty inclusive company. Um, so it's just really sad to see that kind of stuff that they're almost backing down. And I feel as though I would hope they're doing it out of the safety of their employees. They don't want anyone getting hurt. But at the same time, if you're in a shop and you don't like something, you can just leave, right? Like no one's asking you to shop there if they're selling product that you don't want to see. Um, so rather than throwing it on the ground or becoming violent with people who work there, you could just turn yourself around and find the exit and find a different store. <laughs> just my opinion. Um, so I'm kind of bummed about that. So all of that to say, I'll be moving into this, I think, since it's summertime anyway, and I'm a little bummed. But that <laughs> was my Shop Disney semi-annual haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was definitely a longer one. I had quite a bit of stuff to unbag, and that usually takes me a little bit of time, and then I definitely went off on a tangent there at the end. But hopefully if you enjoyed, you can give this video a thumbs up for me so I know to continue making them and subscribe so you don't miss any of my haul videos. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.